Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to test transistors and how to identify if the transistor is NPN transistor or PNP transistor using the multimeter. So let's get started. So first we gonna select the continuity option in the multimeter or the buzzer option. As you can see here in the multimeter and we're gonna first locate the base of the transistor basically the transistor has three terminals base collector and emitter so let's put the black probe in the first terminal and the red probe in the second terminal as you can see we have nothing in the multimeter so if we put the red probe in the two terminal, nothing in the multimeter. So now let's put the red probe in the first terminal. So the first terminal is the base. Here we have reading. So between base and collector, we have reading. So let's see, base and emitter, we have reading. Means this is NPN transistor. Okay, so this is NPN transistor because we put the red probe of the multimeter in the base so as you can see here we have reading between base and collector and between base and emitter we have reading when we put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in the collector and once in the emitter we get ready means this transistor is npn transistor as you can see so this is NPN transistor and of course if we switch the probes I mean we put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in the collector and once in the emitter we will not get anything in the multimeter so this transistor is NPN transistor so let's check right now another transistor basically as you can see here we have its schematic and above it we have two diodes connected in their cathodes so this is a pnp transistor basically this is a pnp transistor because the two diodes are connected together in their cathodes so let's test this transistor right now so basically for this transistor the base is in the middle the base is the terminal in the middle okay and of course I'm going to show you also how to locate the collector and the emitter so always the value of base emitter is greater than base collector so let's check here we put the black probe in the middle in the base we should get a reading between base collector and also between base emitter we should get a reading as you can see we get a reading between base and emitter basically this is a short key diode this transistor contains two short key diodes because the value in the multimeter is about 200 so now i'm going to show you how to identify the collector and the emitter so basically the value between the base emitter is greater than base collector so let's check this first transistor the p the the, the npn transistor so let's put the red probe in the base and the blob the black probe here in the second terminal we have in the multimeter 458 okay 458 so let's check the third one we have 559 the third one is the emitter and the middle one is the collector okay because always the base emitter is greater than the value between the base collector so here we have collector and emitter so base emitter is greater than base collector so let's check this transistor again so between base and emitter we have 559 okay and here we have 458 as you can see so the base emitter is greater than the base collector 
Now let's check this second transistor that contains two Schottky diodes inside it. Basically, in this transistor, the base is in the center or in the middle. So, of course, we're gonna identify the emitter and the collector using the same rule. Means always the value between the base emitter is greater than base collector. So let's check it out. So we're gonna put the black probe in the second terminal. Here we have two handles. Okay, so here we have two handles between these two terminals. So let's check the other side. We have two handles where? Okay, means here we have emitter and here we have collector. Okay, because the base emitter is always greater than base collector. So basically here we get 200 where? And between base collector we get about 199. So remember this rule. So using this rule, you can identify the base and the collector. So let's write down the values between base collector, base emitter for this transistor also. So here we have 457. So let's write it down, 457. So this is the value between base collector so now let's check base emitter so we have 559 okay 559 so as you can see base emitter is always greater than base collector so basically when the transistor receive a voltage or a control signal in its beads it will let the current pass through it between collector and emitter okay so the transistor is activated when it receives a control signal in its base